What's up guys? I'm assuming that the reason you clicked on this video is because you wanted to see how you can turn one of these, your standard square, into a $350 Martinez square. Stick around, you're going to find out. Alright guys, so I know we've all wanted them, we've seen them. The cool titanium Martinez square. So the only real thing that I've ever noticed that looks different on them is this guy right here. So your standard square, almost any brand, they look just like this. They just have a flat top, nothing special about it. Well the Martinez square has got this kind of a brick, more of a bigger handle on it, which I love. I got bigger hands, so they work great for me. Well, Martinez was kind enough to come out with a replacement for these on the Martinez square. If you didn't have the vial, now you can get the vial. So, I'm going to show you how you can bolt this right onto here with the vial in it and make it look just like a Martinez square. 50 bucks. Alright guys, had to run back to Ace, my favorite store, pick up a few more supplies, had to get a couple drill bits, some taps, I'll show you what I got right now, and some screws. Okay, I got my square, I got my Martinez bottom there, I had to pick up this, this is a, what is it? 16th drill bit. Got this one, 3 16th drill bit. Then I had to get, I got two number 43 drill bits and a this tap for it, <laughs> 440. So that's what we're going to try and use. Then I picked up six, I believe, because you know you always drop one of these. 440 screws. And I went with the black anodized head so it'll look nice on there. So there we go. Got a couple extra of those. Now our next task at hand is to drill this or uh, sand this down so we're exactly the width of this Martinez top so it'll line up perfect. So I set this on here. Made a couple scores on here with the razor blade so I can see my lines. Right there's my lines. I'm going to take it over the table saw, cut that down a little bit, see how it goes. Okay guys, I went over to the table saw and set the blade at a very short, took a very short height and kept taking a little bit out of this at a time, just kept running it through. Took this little bit out here now. This is exactly the same width of that. So, a couple different ways you can do this. I showed you the other squares. Uh, you may be able to just take a belt sander, smooth that up a little bit if you need to take a little bit off to make it the same width as this. Or you can do the table saw method too. That worked good for me. I'm going to take a belt sander now and just kind of smooth this up a little bit so I don't get any aluminum slivers. Now we'll move on to the next phase. smooth as can be. I like that this matches this side now. This side. That looks sharp. Okay. <clears throat> Next thing we want to do set this on here. Mark it just right. We want to find a spot that is not interrupted by bolts or these divots to drill into that we can put our short little screws down in. So the plan is to drill through here and put these little tiny set screws in there, or these not set screws, but these little tiny screws right into there.
tapping these little screw holes now. These are small, so you want to work them back and forth. You don't want to break the tap. Okay, now that screw will go right through there. We have that much sticking out already, and it's going to be even more after we countersink this head a little bit. It'll be this way. But. Sticking up just a little bit, so I'm going to drill them all first with this. And hit him with another one again. There we go. That's exactly what I want right there. That screw to be just flush right in there. Here's the money shot. I call it the Miltinez, the Milwaukee Martinez Square. Like 47 bucks for this piece. You put it on the square you want. The best thing about doing it this way with these screws in here, tap in there, if you ever bend your square or drop it or wreck it, take it off, put another one on this. Same thing, line up your hole to drill it, you're done. Does that not look exactly like a Martinez Square? Hey, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down there and ring the bell if you like this content. Leave a message, let me know what you think. That's cool, man. Have a good one.